over the last one year, uh, I've made a lot of videos which went viral and uh, I put the learnings from all those experiences, the method to the madness in this webinar. The internet base in India is estimated at 350 odd million users and out of that 200 plus are on mobiles. An entire generation of users completely skipped the desktop era and they're getting on experiencing the internet on mobiles. Like my mom doesn't know how to use a mouse on a keyboard to save her life, but she's so active on WhatsApp and Facebook. Why are marketers obsessed with virality? You know, you meet any client or any bosses, it's no longer about a video, it's about a viral video. And that to people who are in the, in the job of making them adds a lot of pressure. But the focus we have in viral videos is wrong in my opinion, because viral virality is an outcome. It's not in your hands. Just like a blockbuster movie is an outcome, topping in the exams is an outcome, a gold medal is an outcome. You know, what's in your hands is the performance, the action. But the challenge we have as marketers is that we are fighting through overwhelming content density and a finite level of attention. So how to come up with topics? This is, this is really exciting. Uh, get obsessed about your users and customers, their life, their pain points, their challenges and problems. You know, nobody gives a shit about us, our brand, or how shiny our brand is, or the products or services we can provide. It's about them, their pain points, and their challenges. If we, as marketers, can solve that through content, boom, we have something which is, you know, sh which is worthy of shares and perhaps could go viral in the end. For example, Ixigo is a travel company. A lot of our users, you know, travel by train. The number one problem in train is toilets. If we can make a content, a piece of video which solves that problem, boom, we have something worthwhile. If you're in the food business, every morning I have challenges of having breakfast because I'm running late for office. If there's a 15, 20, 30 second video which solves that problem, boom, there's something share worthy. If it's a clothing store. You know, if the clothing store talks about how to tie a tie, a bow tie, something share worthy right there. It's a software company, you know, how to video to solve problems, you know, with the software. Real estate company, there is a gazillion real estate terms. I'm personally scared or I, I don't understand a lot of mumbo jumbo in real estate. If somebody can solve that with a Q&A, boom, we have something really valuable. The main thing is people don't trust us as marketers. People don't trust salesmen, marketers, anybody who's trying to promote anything. So we need to earn that share, you know, investing in their family's well-being or happiness. And we have to do something for them before there's any expectation that they'll do something for us. One thing which I learned uh, over the last one year was always be newsjacking. Newsjacking is just a fancy term of injecting your brand DNA, your brand story into a breaking news. Facebook especially you know, bumps you up a news feed if you're talking about something which is trending or which is relevant. So how long should a video be? And that's something uh, you know, a lot of people have asked me. And the short answer is as short as possible. The attention span of people is lowest at 8 seconds. So anything between two to three minutes is awesome. And I personally, I'm betting my chances on under 30 seconds. Because a longer video works if it's a celebrity and you're already a fan. Or there's a how-to video to solve a complex problem. Or TED Talks on YouTube. TED Talks have uh, been one anomaly in the whole thing that you know people tend to watch an hour long video. And the next thing is make for mobile screens. Keep it clutter-free composition. This is the screen we're targeting, unlike the movies or the TV. Right, so keep, you know, the, the composition neat and clean, have big fonts. The first impression is very important. The thumbnail image is, you know, the, 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 like the cover of the book. The title description, the wall copy comes next. Similarly, there's an idea of second first impression, which is like after a person has clicked on your video, the first couple of seconds make or break the video. So it has to be interesting for the, from the first frame. The distribution strategy, strategy is the other half of the battle. The first 50% is figuring out, you know, kick-ass content, which is share-worthy, solves the problem, or inspires people. The second is distribution. Here's where the marketing part comes into play. In my experience, Tuesday, Wednesday launches have worked best. Having multiple versions for Facebook, YouTube, WhatsApp works really best. Initial seeding. In your company, in your, you know, in your office, or in your community, if you can ask, you know, if you can get a lot of people inspired to share the video in the first 10 minutes, that to me, you know, gives it the initial trust. We have like a little tradition in Ixigo as well. And of course, outreach to, uh, you know, the, the scoop, proof, story, pick, buzz feeds of today, and of course, bloggers and news. Watch a lot, see a lot, because as a creative person, the more uh, reference points you have in your head, the more dots you can connect. You can get inspired, get creative, and interpret that for your Indian audiences. 
so that really works the last words i have is you know ideas are overrated ideas are cheap ideas are everywhere you can google and you can find ideas you can curate ideas but execution is everything